to the channel. Been a little bit since I made a video and been thinking about uh, different things that I could talk about. And I have been working some projects, but they've been, you know, quick and easy ones or ones that I wanted to knock out real quick and wasn't um, a lot to learn from watching, I guess you'd say. But um, anyway, what came across my mind was to talk about uh, the attachments that I have for the Coyote and maybe uh, tell you a little bit about them. Uh, I've done that periodically as I've used them through some of the videos that I've done. But uh, I was thinking on this one, I might talk about price, how much I paid for them, uh, the benefit that I get out of them. Try not to make it too long, but for those that are considering different accessories or different attachments, uh, what I think of them and if they're worth the money or whatnot. So uh, see what you think. It may not be a good video for everybody. Maybe everybody or some people already have all the attachments they want. Um, and aren't considering new ones, but for those that are thinking about uh, looking at different attachments and what the benefits are, uh, hopefully this will be helpful. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is the backhoe. Uh, this is a Coyote backhoe, and it is the uh, KB2475L. And I bought this uh, when I bought the tractor. I've had the tractor about a year. And so uh, this um, backhoe I have used a ton for uh, digging ditches uh, for laying uh, both power lines and water lines and also uh, dealing with trees, uh, digging up stumps, tearing down buildings, tearing out decks, and a number of other things. If you've watched the channel, uh, you've probably seen a lot of that. I also have a playlist that you can go back. Hopefully it makes it easier to go back and look at uh, the uses of these different attachments that I have. I like the backhoe a lot. Uh, I've gotten a little bit better at taking it on and off, um, but it is still challenging at times. Sometimes, like I said, when I did the take it on and off video that it goes easy and sometimes it doesn't. Um, in addition to the backhoe attachment, this uh, particular backhoe comes pre-bracketed, I guess you'd say, with this bracket here for the uh, thumb, uh, mechanical thumb. You can see the mechanical thumb has a, a multitude of different adjustments. And so I've used the thumb quite a bit, again, for uh, moving firewood, moving logs, uh, grabbing and picking up uh, rocks, uh, logs, trees, all different types of stuff and moving it around. Uh, with a small backhoe like this, you don't get a lot of radius as far as being able to move things from one place to another, um, but you can pick it up. And I have probably not recommended, but I have driven with short distances. And so uh, basically I would just set that thumb in the position that I want it to, to be in and then depending on the range of the bucket and then use it. And then when you're just digging or whatnot, it's out of the way. I did buy the thumb from Coyote. I did shop around for aftermarket ones and ultimately I just decided to go with theirs. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna be putting pricing on each of the items, at least what I paid. And I wanna say that the uh, thumb was about uh, 300 and 30 bucks or something like that. So that's the backhoe and the backhoe thumb. Uh, the things I like about the backhoe, I already mentioned as far as duty goes, I do like that it's a frame mounted unit. And so it's, um, goes into that carriage right there, which is kind of dirty right now, um, with this bracket right here. And then it has a connection up front on um, the front where it locks in on those up there. So it gives you a pretty stable platform uh, to operate the backhoe on. I never feel like it's a separate unit. Once it's all attached, it um, works in unison with the tractor pretty well. All right, the chipper. Uh, the chipper is one of the early, uh, one of the first uh, attachments that I picked up 
and I actually did several videos on using the chipper and I bought this from Titan Attachments and I don't know if I'll be able to find the receipt for this, but they've actually gone up since I bought it. I want to say it was around $1,200, somewhere in there. I've used uh, the chipper quite a bit for cedar chips. Uh, for a while there, I was selling uh, cedar chips because we have tons of uh, cedar branches from when we had the trees limbed. Um, I haven't been using it as much lately. It's been hot and um, I've been doing other things. The what I don't like about it, um, probably <laughs> seems silly to say, but one of the things I don't like about it is just how dusty it can be if everything's really dry out. Um, you and the tractor and everything around you get covered in dust. Uh, as far as operation, I think it's pretty good, pretty easy to operate. Uh, I have broken uh, several shear pins. Um, and I did mention in a previous video that I went and just bought a dozen of them and you kind of get to the point where you know what's going to, what it's going to take and what it's not. And I would say it, it generally will take, you know, probably a four inch limb, uh, pretty easily without having any issues, uh, beyond that, uh, you run the risk of it breaking. Also, if something feeds and goes in kind of sideways, but for the most part, I do like it. I guess, oops, one of the downsides to the chipper is that uh, uh, you are putting hours on your tractor rather than uh, if you were using a separate uh, chipping unit. Uh, so that's, that's kind of a downside. This uh, hopper, I guess you'd call it, does fold up so you can, st for storage, I don't have it folded up right now. And also, the, Obviously the chute is adjustable and it'll spin 360 degrees uh, any way that you want to do it. It'll, it also has uh, this, I guess, hood, I would call it, where you can direct the chips and where they blow. As far as maintenance goes, it's super easy. You just take this, take this bolt out, you can clean it out, and um, the grease fittings are really easy to get to. Um, I haven't changed the blades or swapped the blades, uh, flipped the blades yet on it, but um, probably do to do that. But anyway, that is the Titan uh, chipper, the BX42S. So this little fella here, you've probably seen on a few of the videos, uh, they used to move the trailers around and whatnot. And I got that from Titan Attachments as well. And I want to say it was uh, around 60 some dollars. Sometimes I use the uh, customer rewards. I'm embarrassed to say I had quite a few customer rewards with the stuff I bought from them. But um, I would say this is a decent investment as far as uh, usefulness. It doesn't take much room when you're not using it. It's easy to throw on and it's easy to, uh, easy to use. Obviously, it'll take different receivers for different size um, or different balls or whatnot. And um, I've also used the um, one of those luggage racks that, uh, that you can fit into the receiver to move tools around and whatnot. And it works good for that as well. My wife got me some uh, little uh, Disney visitors to ride along on the uh, Coyote. I wanna say she got them at Safeway, but anyway. I think they're kind of cute. I need to get one more to even out the uh, even out the hood. All right, so you've landed up at my current attachment storage area up by the house. I picked it. This is where the shed was from a couple episodes ago. Of course, it's gone. Brought in several loads of gravel, and this is my holding area for my attachments right now. Not exactly sure how this is all going to play out if I'm going to end up putting something up here to cover them with or if I'm going to be moving them to a different location but currently they're on pallets it's flat up here it's easy to put them on and off and so I thought it'd be a good opportunity while they're somewhat organized to um, kind of show you what I have going on and what we have 
So here we go. Okay, we'll start out up here with the Woods Brush Hog. And uh, it's probably been half a dozen videos ago that I profiled this out in the field. And uh, this is the uh, BB60. I think the X goes after that, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, I bought this with the tractor from the dealership uh, when I bought the tractor. And I've used it for uh, mowing brush down and for obviously mowing grass, blackberries, and all that good stuff. Uh, it was probably, ex aside from the backhoe, probably the most expensive uh, brush hot, or excuse me, attachment that I've that I purchased. And I'm going to list the price because I don't want to try to guess on each of these. But um, I do like the machine. It's, um, I've gotten a little better at, at hooking it up and uh, utilizing it. A couple things I don't like about it, and I don't know if it's just a normal thing, this is my first tractor and first brush hog, is, um, you know, I followed the instructions for engaging the PTO, had it at the correct setting, and um, it's kind of scary how loud it is when it, when it takes off. Um, not scary like I think I'm going to get hurt, but just scary like, is that really good for this equipment? Uh, primarily the tractor is what I'm concerned about. But um, haven't had any issues in that regard. Um, I have mowed over some pretty hefty rocks with this thing, unfortunately. And um, it's held up. You can see it's got a couple little dents on the side there. And I want to say one of the rocks was as big as a basketball. And I walked through there first. And I had my bucket down when I was mowing and I still managed to not detect it before I hit it. I uh, was able to um, get everything shut down and just had to sharpen the blades and then break the uh, shear pin. Probably the main thing I don't like about it is the sleeve for the PTO drive. And it's probably just my inexperience, but it's a pain to get on and off to grease the fittings. And um, I have not mastered that. I've done it a few times and still a challenge to get these end caps off and to grease those fittings. So, but that's that. Uh, next up is the bucket. And uh, this bucket came with the tractor. I, I don't even know if it's considered a, you know, an additional accessory, although they do have different types of buckets that you can get. And um, this bucket, I don't know what to say about it other than it's really easy to get on and off. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, I guess I have had one issue with it, and that's when I, early on, I bought the clamp-on pallet forks from Titan. Uh, not a fan. And I did use those on the front of this without uh, supporting them over the back of it. And so my bucket does have a little bit of a smiley face. Um, I could uh, put a piece of uh, metal across the front of it like a lot of folks have but i haven't done that and it's obviously still very functional no issues there um, one thing i will say that i was surprised to find out is i bought some hooks that i was going to mount on the top here just a couple hooks on each end for a chain if i needed to grab something or whatnot and after i got them here i found out that there's a diagonal piece of metal that goes across here so you can't bolt onto the top of this. That was a bit of a surprise. Uh, not a huge deal. I guess more metal is better than less, but um, it prevented me at least from bolting on any hooks. I, obviously, it could still be welded. I don't have a welder at this point. Uh, next up is the trash forks, brush forks, and those basically just strap right on to the bucket. And you can kind of see on the bucket where where they have bolted on there before. Um, but, you know, there's not really any damage to speak of. These trash forks I did purchase when I purchased the tractor. And I will list the price uh, on the video so you can see what they are, what it is. And you can see the brand there. And 
you know, what's to say about those? They're good for pulling out blackberries or for taking loads of brush and moving it over to the fire, uh, the fire pit or whatnot. And I think it was probably worth the investment. <clears throat> the uh, pallet forks almost work as well for moving brush. Um, it kind of just depends on how small the stuff is. Um, but I, th I want to say it was around a $300 investment. But like I said, I'll post the price. But for that, I think it was worth it. Next up is the box blade. It's another attachment that I bought with the tractor at the time of the tractor. And it is also a woods uh, brush, brush blade. It's model BSS 65P. And... I've used this on the driveway quite a bit and also to uh, smooth out ground and whatnot. And I would say it's definitely a worthwhile attachment. Uh, they sold me on the woods uh, for a variety of reasons, primarily the width, the weight. And uh, they also told me that this front edge here uh, works better for um, grading because of the slant that it has. Yeah, I can't I can't really speak to that because I haven't compared it to anything else. Uh, I would say it's easy to put on and off and I would say it works well, especially given my limited experience. This gravel that's up here, although it's not perfectly smooth, I wanna say that I brought in probably six to 10 yards with the dump trailer and smoothed it out with primarily the box blade and you know reasonably happy with it. It's also good for uh, smoothing out dirt and um, moving dirt around and whatnot. So I'm happy with the woods box blade. Uh, next up is the uh, Titan pallet forks. And even, I think folks have heard me talk a lot about them. I, I would say that it's probably pretty close to the most useful attachment that I've had, maybe except for the backhoe. And price comparison, there's a significant difference, but uh, the pallet forks are just, I mean, there's just so, so many things you can use the pallet forks for. Uh, these forks, I wanna say are the 48 inch. I think they give you three, maybe four options. And uh, I bought them Titan attachments. I think I said that already. Uh, this is the one that has the the hay spear uh, uh, attachments that you can put on if you want to get those. It doesn't come with it. And I just ordered that, ordered it from Titan, uh, came to the house. And I think they have a couple different options as far as um, the front part too. But I'll list the price on these. And like I said, I've used them for just... Almost every time I use a tractor, I use them for something. So, and of course, pallets are everywhere. And so they're just easy to move stuff around with. And uh, the forks are adjustable. So you can move them, you know, all the way across the front with these uh, little notches just by uh, lifting up the latch in the back there. And then you just kind of lift up on the bottom of the fork, obviously when it's on the tractor, and then just slide it. They're heavy, 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 but um, it's it's not not hard to deal with. And I've been I've been super happy with those. I think it's been a great investment. Next up, I next up I think is one of my most recent purchases, and that is the pine needle stick twig whatever <laughs> I never get the name right but um, rake basically and it's kind of um, light, uh, light duty rake uh, for landscaping and whatnot and I've used it I, I did a little demo when I put those together and I did a video on it on it and uh, I've been super impressed with how easy it is to use given uh, the circumstances of uh, different stuff that I've tried it on. Obviously it's light duty. I mean, it's not gonna rake the ground real hard, but if that's what you're trying to avoid, uh, then these are pretty good. Um, I mean, you can see they do have resistance, but um, 
it's not it's not super duper strong i'm it's it's light it's easy to manage you can basically pick it up by yourself i think it weighs 100 pounds or a little more and you can pick it up and hook it up and use it and i've been happy with it whether i'll end up getting the other more heavy duty rake or not i'm not sure i've used this on hay used it on branches and twigs and whatnot it's worked pretty well i did use it on the hill and raked up a bunch of branches and I didn't do a video on that kind of regret it but I'm gonna walk you over there and show you the hill that I raked with it and how it turned out okay guys so you can see from perspective wise where we're at on the other end of the house uh, this is the basically the hill that we look out uh, from the kitchen and if you happen to be a subscriber of my wife's video this is the background she uses or excuse me, for her channel. This is the background she uses for her videos. Uh, this is the hill that I raked with the rake uh, attachment and it did really well. I mean, obviously you can see a few branches here and there. It's not gonna grab every single thing, but I went over this a couple times with it and basically put the bucket down close to the ground. And I wanna say I had the forks on the uh, trash forks but anyway and then I um, basically just raked this hill and then as I got piles down at the bottom then I pushed them up into the big piles on, at the end there with the uh, with the trash forks and the bucket and I think it went and excuse me I think it did pretty well there's like I said there's still some that I'll need to go through by hand and pick up I could also hit it again with a rake but for the most part, it picked up a tremendous amount of stuff. And I think uh, once the sun hits this some more and we get some greenery in here, it's gonna be pretty cool. So this is the video you didn't see, the attachment of the uh, stick and pine needle rake. Hey guys, so thanks for uh, stopping by the channel, checking out my attachments video. And if you have any questions or uh, input, on things that I discussed as far as you know tricks of the trade or suggestions or whatnot I'm open to those and I uh, guess that's it for now uh, take care of yourselves be safe and we will talk to you soon